But for over four long, fruitless years, the police were unable to uncover any concrete suspects or leads in the collar bomb plot. With Wells now dead, and very few tangible clues or witnesses, it, unfortunately, was starting to look like the deranged criminals responsible for this bizarre crime might never be identified or brought to justice at all. A major break in the case finally came in 2007, when a woman named Marjorie Deal Armstrong, age 58, was overheard bragging loudly in prison about having special insider knowledge related to the collar bomb plot. However, she had a lengthy history of serious mental illness and violence. Most disturbingly, Deal Armstrong had shot two of her former boyfriends to death years prior, including James Roden, just one month before Wells was killed. She had murdered them in cold blood specifically to prevent them from going to the police and exposing her central part in orchestrating the bizarre collar bomb crime.